unboxing. As you can see, I'm talking and somebody's opening the box. That's my daughter after many, many years. I think she's not cooperating with me for the last two years. And this is after two years. This is a video where she is um, willingly helping me because this perfume is not mine, it's hers. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to use it, of course. So yeah, as if you have seen already my haul video, I told you this is the first time I'm seeing something from Britney Spears line. I have, yes, I know it's quite late. She has the perfume line, I think, back in from 2000 or 2002, something like that. I'm not sure about the number. So I know I'm late, but still, I like the uh, packaging. I mean, it's quite fantasy. The name is quite appropriate. Uh, show the, so the, this is the box. I mean, quite nice. So this cost me $35. Uh, everybody in internet suggested that this is the uh, cheap range of long lasting perfumes. So I wanna see that, how good it is, because I have to tell about my own taste that I am quite a fruity fragrance type person, fruity or clean. Uh, I use usually in summertime, I use the fruity type and in the fall, I use mostly, uh, I use the clean type, soapy, powdery, those kind of. Yes, I'm not a fan of too sweet uh, perfumes. I can't take them, I, I get headache. And also a too flowery, I mean, in the flowery type, I usually use the Gucci or the Prada, those kind of perfumes. Usually they have a very clean cut. I also like Michael Kors, those kind of clean cut. And I'm a big fan of Thierry Mugler. Mugler has an amazing range of perfumes. They have an amazing, very unique fragrance. That's why I am of that taste person. So this is something is going to be very interesting. I, in cheap range, I bought Sofia Vergara previously, Sofia Vergara Love. And honestly, that one is mostly used by my daughter, not me. Because um, I, when I liked it first time when I sprayed it and later on somehow after probably four or five times I used it, I stopped using it because that was too harsh for me. I can't take too harsh perfumes. So let's talk about the bottle. The bottle is a very uh, teen, teenage type. I have to say i mean whenever we talk about britney spears so uh, the all the songs came uh, comes in our mind is uh baby one more time genie in a bottle and other blah 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 uh i did it again <laughs> all those type of song so uh, according to her character this is a perfect perfect bottle i think this is a glass bottle and uh yeah i hate this like the cheap perfumes are always comes up with the, I don't know why the the make it for the glass the glass bottle and the make the cap of plastic so silly anyways uh, the bottle is nice I mean for a teenager or a little bit young lady that that is absolutely right so I I'm not going to explain too much about the notes because there is nothing on it <laughs> honestly there is nothing on it but I heard it's a little bit powdery type, soapy powder. So, oops, okay. Uh, is there any black current? Yes, I can, I can, I can feel two flavors here. One is orange. And second is black currant. I, I don't know really if the black currant. I have to check. Like, um, seriously, I have to check. Uh, Britney Spears. Wait a second. So, um, the smell I was looking for is what Fragrantica is saying. This is a fruity, sweet, vanilla, floral, powdery scent. Um, this is, of course, uh, 
this said it's a nighttime nighttime yes i feel like this is a nighttime kind of um perfume uh this set is framboise what is it framboise exotic framboise black cherry and plum yes i was feeling it's black currant but it's not black currant it's black cherry so harmonious dialogue of night orchid frisia iris amber musk and vanilla exactly that's how i was feeling there's an orchid night orchid so this was um created by caroline sabus in 2006 it is rated in fragrantica 3.87 out of 5. i mean it's uh, not four but quite good rating for the price and the type of the perfume so uh, they have that it has a huge vote on long lasting like 354 votes for the long lasting part um what else what else well it doesn't remind of any perfume that's what it said uh, my daughter is saying i had a similar kind of perfume but i don't think so this is something very new to me i never had such kind of perfume so midnight fantasy by britney spears i think it's amazing perfume for young people not for me of course i don't think this suits me this is a 100 ml bottle and I think my daughter is going to be very wise to use it as long as possible. So yes, that's it for me. I like it, but not for me. It's good for young people. And for the price I paid, I think the smell is quite good. It's uh, nothing with my taste, of course, even though it's it has a little bit of powdery type scent, but it's okay. I mean, it's fine. I have a different taste. I have more crisp and sharp fruity kind of scent. That is what I'm, um, that, that's my favorite. So yeah. So yeah, that's it for, from my, my place. This is the unboxing. It was done. There are more unboxing coming of the perfume. There will be a surprise in the end of this month. I hope you guys will be waiting for that. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.